Hi guys and we're back again. Uh, this time we're just going to be showing how to make a bank if you've got any in-game currency um, on your realm or server or multiplayer game. Um, so by this I mean as you can see the coins on the right. Um, so a way to put your coins in a sort of bank account. So as you can see on the right there uh, we've done bank one and it's got one coin in at the moment. So just show you a quick example first. Actually isn't that complicated. Um, might look like a few command blocks but it really wasn't, it was just by chance as I was trying to create something that it worked so let's give it a go, so you can see JDog has 30 coins move over to the first one and he's going to be putting 20 coins in now so tap the button and as you can see it's gone down um, I haven't actually got it up on my display but it, did cut, it does come up on the chat just to say um, that he has removed 20 and his transfer and uh, 20 has gone in successfully sorry on his title bar so and if I show you now that's the bank now 21 now let's say if he wants to remove it again so he wants to take his 20 coins back out the bank again comes over to here obviously you can build it in whatever way you want you can make it look like an uh, ATM machine um, or what have you and come here tap the button and he's got his 20 coins back out the bank and the bank's back down to one coin there. Obviously you can use this for different things, mine's a sort of kingdom, so that's why it's called kingdoms so I should, probably should have called it something else, but yeah mine's for a kingdom and um, so we're putting like money that you've collected into your kingdom bank account, people can pay into it etc and um, you can add tags and stuff to make sure that only certain people can take it in or out and um, what we'll do now is we'll just go over through the commands to do it so we're going to start off with the commands to actually get the coins on and the bank account and we're going to start over here and um, obviously you can do these in your chat bar I've just done it command blocks just so you can see it so uh, it's going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone and you're going to type in scoreboard objectives add coins um, so you're adding an objective of coins and then dummy at the end it's case sensitive so type it out how you want to keep typing it on from now on and that will add add new objective coins successfully alright next one you're going to want to add some coins for yourself um, this is just to obviously see it working so scoreboard players add at P so that's the closest player um, coins spelt the same and 100 impulse unconditional always active hit that and you've now got 100 coins next thing you're going to want to put it on your uh, sidebar on the screen so you can actually see it that's going to be scoreboard objectives set display sidebar and coins again spelt the same it's an impulse, un impulse unconditional always active hit that button and it will pop up on the right with your hundred coins so now as you can see it's not the same we don't have the bank so what we're going to do is we're going to set that up by that we're going to add a scoreboard objective um, add server dummy kingdoms what this is going to do is you're adding a uh, objective by the name of server you put I don't actually know why you have to put dummy but you put dummy and then after that um, you're going to name it for what it's going to be named so mine's going to be kingdoms um, just a side note on this when you do add stuff to it you have to add it to server not to kingdoms kingdoms just how it's going to be displayed on uh, wherever you display it and that's another impulse unconditional needs redstone tap that button you can see we've added the new objective successfully if we come over here um, and we want to add a sorry there we go we want to set the bank at something so it's going to be a scoreboard players set bank one so in effect we're making like a fake player here um, and we're adding him to the server so scoreboard players set bank one and um, that's just why I've called it you can call that whatever you want uh, server that's got to be the same though and then I'm going to set mine at zero so it's now set at zero just realized I forgot we do need one more command block I'll just get jdog to chuck me one there we go right and lastly we're just going to be setting it on the pause menu or on the list menu sorry so that's going to be a scoreboard objectives set display not below a uh, list and we're going to want to do the server there and if we 
just pop a little button on that. Get my kind assistant here. And press that. It now comes up with Kingdoms and the Bank One. So now to actually set this up, this is going to be the one that you use to pay in. Um, it could actually be a lot less block. Well, a lot could be two less blocks than this. I've just chosen to add a couple little messages in there as well. Um, and well, you know, I've given the money to myself. So we'll start off here. And the first one's going to be Impulse Unconditional needs redstone block. Uh, it's going to be a scoreboard. Players test at P, so the closest person. Coins 20. This is just a test that they actually have 20 coins. If they do, it's going to be going the next block's a chain conditional always active. That means it's only going to go through if the last block was actually confirmed. So if they didn't have 20 coins, it won't go through to the, this block. That's going to be a scoreboard players remove at P, coins 20. So you're removing the 20 coins off of them now. I've added in a little message again chain conditional always active and you can I've put title at P action bar paying in money so that would just come up at the bottom of your screen so it says they're paying in money if I missed one there no we got right next one is a scoreboard players add um, and this is where you actually add it to the bank. So add bank one server underneath that, and then the amount uh, it's got to equal obviously what they put in. So if it's 10 that you've taken off their coins, you want to put 10 on the server to add onto it. And this is a chain conditional always active. And lastly, I've put a title at P action bar transfer complete, and that will just pop up on the bottom again just to confirm with them that they know they've done it, that it's gone in. Chain conditional always active, so again it will only get to the end one if all the other ones, uh, the conditions have been met there. So that is putting the money in. Obviously, you can see I put 20 in. Banks up by 20. Now taking it out, and you got 20 coins withdrawn, and I've got my 20 coins back again. Start that one with an impulse unconditional always active, and it's going to be a scoreboard players test. Bank 1, server 20, so you're testing the bank 1 on the server objective if it's got 20. If it has, um, it will go to the chain conditional always active block, um, and that will be a scoreboard players remove bank 1 server, so almost the same as the last one, just with remove instead of add, and you're going to be taking 20 away, away from bank 1. Off of there. Oh, it's up to you, by the way, if you put a delay. Um, so if you do want to delay between these so it's not quite so fast-paced, just change this. Obviously, it's on zero at the moment. I think I've put yeah, I've put a 20-tick delay there, which is a second on the next one, just to give it a tiny delay. And this one's another chain conditional, always active. And it's scoreboard players add at P, coins 20. So you're adding at the nearest player, and you're sort of reverting it back to the coins now, and you're putting 20 back onto the player. And finally, it's a chain conditional always active command. Uh, title at P, so the closest player. Action bar, 20 coins withdrawn. Again, you can put whatever little note you want there. I've just done that so they know that their coins have been withdrawn. It's all gone through. So there we go, guys. Um, hopefully, that'll help you. I don't know how you'd set it up. I'm sure there's plenty of different ways you'd be able to set that up in your games. I um, hope you did like it. Uh, please do leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.